Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. It's always nice to do something and people appreciate it. The objective of my website is to share my passion and my creations with you guys. So the other day, one of my subscribers from Thailand was quite impressed with my Thai yellow curry paste that I posted last month. She was also curious to find out what dish I created to go along with the paste. Hmm. So in today's episode, I'll show you how to make my Thai chicken curry. This dish, oh, mm, it's quite delicious. There's a beautiful harmony of sweet, spicy, and slightly salty. It is a great recipe to enjoy when you want to have Thai food. So my friends, let's get cooking. So in a medium large saucepan over medium heat, we'll add the oil. When it's hot and the oil starts to shimmer, we'll add a Thai yellow curry paste. To see this recipe, click on the top right corner of your screen. To this, we'll also add chopped green onions. We'll saute the ingredients quickly for about a minute and a half, stirring constantly. Then we'll add the cubed chicken to the paste mixture. We'll stir the chicken and cook until the meat is no longer pink, about four to five minutes. Then we'll add fish sauce, although a little pungent, it's still an important ingredient. And we'll also add a whole can of coconut milk. We'll stir and bring this to a boil. Then we'll reduce heat to medium low and simmer for 10 minutes. During this time, we'll add brown sugar to our mixture and obviously stir to combine. After that, we'll add the red peppers and carrots. We'll stir and cook for five minutes. Now we'll add peanuts. It's optional, but I truly believe it gives a nice texture to the curry. We'll stir and turn up the heat to medium high. When it starts to simmer, we'll add our cornstarch mixture, which will help to thicken the sauce and stir until it's well incorporated. And you'll see how fast the mixture will get thicker. David and I like to call cornstarch the magic powder. We'll remove from the heat and spoon the chicken curry over a bed of rice. For the final touch, we'll sprinkle cilantro and more peanuts. And my friends, this is our Thai chicken curry. This incredibly aromatic dish is packed with flavors that are traditionally found in Thai cuisine, which are sweet, salty, spicy, and savory. This is a fairly spicy Thai recipe, but the ingredients mellow the heat for an enjoyable, tasty meal. I hope you give it a try soon, and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!